the universe is made up of atoms, and these atoms come together to make elements. My friends Leo and Professor World have figured out a way to make living creatures out of the elements called elements. Hmm? Do you hear something? Hmm, let's go check it out. Hmm. I don't see anything. Well, did you know that every Elemon has powers specific to their elements? There are Elemon who can make plants grow, Elemon who are made of super strong metal, and even Elemon who can blast fire. My favorite Elemon belongs to my friend Leo. He made his Elemon by combining two hydrogen atoms with one oxygen atom, making <gasps> Akuro, a water type Elemon. Oh, you snuck up on me, Akuro. Well, that makes sense because you have the same molecular structure as water, which means you can slip through small spaces and fill the shapes of different containers. I know, I know. And you can blast water. Nero, not in the house, not in the house. I'll tell you what. Why don't we call Professor World and see what he's up to? I gotta do it for science! Oh no, it looks like Professor World needs some water. And I know the perfect water type Elamon for the job. Opera, go tell Professor World. Hot! Oh, oh no! Oh, where's it? Are you okay, Professor World? My sensitivity sensors have alerted me that you're in a state of pain. I should do something. Thanks, buddy. Next time, try milk. Are you restored to normal, Professor World? Yes, but I'm all wet. Would you like for me to engage the automatic drying machine? Yes, please. Woo! Usually when I want water, I do my water dance. Two atoms of hydrogen, one atom of oxygen, combine them, makes water. The greatest invention. Let's experiment with the power of water. The fluid in here is water. The syringe will act like a piston. This will move with the force of the water. Let's see what happens when I add force to this side. The water moves from this side through the tube over here, and look! The syringe is now pushed out. Do you know why? Because the pressure was transferred through the water. That's how hydraulic machines work. Let's get the materials for the hydraulic powered arm. Step one, we build the basic structure of the arm. Now it's time to add some syringes. These will act like pistons and pumps. Time for the claw. Now we need a sturdy base for the arm. Hmm, this will work.
water time. Back to the experiment. Can't do anything without a control panel. Oh, 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 time for the tubes. Let's try this thing out. So, in simple terms, hydraulic power is the forcing of water through a system of pistons, hoses, and pumps. And hydraulic cranes are able to produce an immense amount of power because of the movement of the fluid inside. Exactly. Now let's see the power of the periodic table! The element hydrogen has the atomic number one. Ha! One? Easy to remember. Classification, non-metal, and it's a gas. Like this? Not that kind of gas. Yes, that kind. Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe. Odorless, tasteless, colorless, simplest. But probably the coolest. Well, we do owe most of the energy on the planet to hydrogen. It's also the most flammable. Whew, I am exhausted and Oh, I need a shower. Wait, I didn't need... <laughs>